What did I tell you? I, oh my freaking god. He is a security guard. Chicks just love a guy in uniform, you know? Yeah, well, it works both ways sometimes. <laughs> so never mind. Security guard, huh? So that's what that uniform is all about? Hmm. So what time was it when you found this last night? Huh? Why are you asking that? Trying to see if I got an alibi? <laughs> nope. Yup! Of course it was! One o'clock in the morning on the first floor. Hmm. Nothing weird about that. After all, he works there. He what? I don't know whether to count that as a what or not, because I said he what. It was part of a sentence, and normally I only counted it when it's by itself. So I guess future Tim, don't count it. He works there. You mean Mr. Delight? Sure. Here, take a look at this. It's right there in his wallet. What's this card? It's a key card for the security company. Hey, it's got a serial number on it right there. There's no mistake about it. You said you were working part-time at a security company, right? That's right. Why are you making that scary face? <laughs> because it's all just a little too convenient. I need to find out as much as I can about this key card. Yeah, well, we can start by looking at it. Is there anything with the word letters B-U-R in there? I don't know. Can we actually go in and look at it now? Boy, look at all this stuff. Okay, that's good. Found by Larry at his part time security jobs company building, nine of the crime. Written with a fountain pen. Jeez. Let me read this again. If you don't watch your true identity revealed to the world, come to KB Security at 1 a.m. So, did, like, Ron write this to Mask Demask, or the other way around? Or did a third person write it to one of them? But the fact that Ron has the letter means he must have either written or received it. Which I'm assuming he... I'm assuming he wrote it, because, like... Why would you have a story where a guy pretends to be some... Well, actually, that makes perfect sense. But how long has he been pretending to be the other guy? And why would it be? Uh, why would the other guy mind it if there was an imitator out there? Unless they were both trying to get to something first, which I'm probably just way out of bounds on that. That's a KB security, and look at this. So, uh... Yep, it all is kind of starting to fit together here. I don't know if there's anything to present. Probably not with this guy. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's go back and say hi to Ronnie. Oh, he's not here. He must be sleeping or something. Who knows? <laughs> oh no, I was just here. What am I doing? Let's try the detective agency again. Nope. Same stuff here. Ah, uh, here, let's see. We got some new stuff here, so maybe we can try... Ah, uh, I forgot what he even said about... Here, let's, uh, let's try some stuff here. Sorry, I can't be more helpful. I have no interest to save that funny. Okay. <laughs> A piddling evidence hog, you say? In that case, I'd simply be wasting my breath. Uh, you know. I don't think any of this is gonna mean anything to him, yeah. I think I'm getting the wrong idea about where... Well, no. He's got the KB on him. So, did he and Ron both work at KB Security? Because this was found inside Ron's wallet. It's really weird that they would both turn out to be security guards at the same place. Well, I guess that's not that weird, because he did find the wallet, and it would make sense that a security guard would find it. It would be another security guard who happens to work with him there. So that's not that weird, okay. 
But still, neither of these guys seem to know about this. No, oh, you just gave me that. What do you think about my sword, dude? Larry, this is one of the treasures from Korean Village. Be serious, Nick. I couldn't care less about Mystic Mumbo Jumbo stuff. Aww. Oh, of course, mine has a different story. <laughs> sure. I just thought of something. What if it's actually a hot chick under that costume? <laughs> Forget about it. It's a guy, trust me. Man, you're killing my buzz, dude! Well, talk about someone who has a one-track mind. Yeah, and a one-eyed. Never mind. Mm, what about this person? Beats me. <laughs> yep. Have you seen Adrian Andrews? Or you got a crush on her too? Whoa! Who is this? Come on, man! Don't hold out on me. Forget about it. It's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. Hey, now! I thought we were pals. I got a major thing to regret. What? My monitor died. Hurry, hang on. Ugh. Major thing for girls with black sleeveless shirts and glasses. How do you know that? If they have an orange colored memo pad, I really lose my cool. Mmm, no. I seriously doubt it. What happens if I show Pearl to him? Oh, what a cutie. Hey, Nick, so what's the deal between you and this girl? Hey, that's my cousin. Her name is Pearl Faye. Pearl, huh? Too bad. Never date two girls with the same name. That's one rule I can't break. Dude, you... <laughs> thank you! Fucking thank you! It's like if I present you to yourself here. Even you could learn a few tricks from me, Nick. Yeah, like what? Look at my hair, for example. It points up straight, right? But your hair, on the other hand, points backwards. That's no good at all, man. It's defeatist! You gotta aim high, for the stars! I can't find a counter-argument for that. <laughs> I cannot justify that with a response. <laughs> hey, Larry, what about this? What, you got something to- oh, no, no, no. Wait, what? Oh. Do you know anything about this? What? I don't know anything about Alexis, and that's the truth. Alexis? Uh... I am, I just... 50,000? I don't have that kind of money. Dude, he did Oh. Boy, for a second there, jeez. <laughs> I'm the idiot, no kidding. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess the note is to Ron, then. Well, that makes sense. I mean... <laughs> there you go! The truth is out there now! Lovely. Okay. Well, I'll try the wallet, but... You didn't touch anything in the wallet, did you? Hey, man, be serious. You know what I was interested in? Boy, I guess so. That's pretty good. So you're sure about this key card? Yup. That's the key card they use at the building I work in. According to the serial number, this one is for the CEO's office. CEO's office? Okay. Yeah. Just like the one in, uh... Just like the one to get into Gant's office. Tells you who entered the room and when. Hmm. Well, I'm not an outsider, I'm the guy's lawyer, man. <laughs> it's times like these you learn to stupid again. You learn to stupid again. Okay then. So found Ron's wallet opens the KB Security CEO's office. Leaves the record when used. Well, thumbs up to you too, Larry. I see you over there. Oh wait, that's not the same guy. Ugh. I'm so hung up on this idea that Luke Admi is the mask, but 
Ugh, I don't know. But I'm already down here too, though. Unless... Oh, okay, there you go. Jeez. KB Security, the company in the blackmail letter. You know about it? That's where I work, yeah. In fact, I'm on the job right now. You are? What are you doing here, then? Looking for cockroaches. The boss is away right now, and you know what mice do when the cat's away. Yes, yes. <sighs> so how far away is this company? Let me see. About 30 minutes by car, I guess. Well, if you fly down the road, anyway. If you fly. It's funny you use the word fly. Hmm. Well, this apartment building is pretty close to Lordly Taylor, right? And it would take roughly an hour to go from here to KB Security and back. If Ron D. Light was at KB Security when the robbery occurred, then he couldn't have stolen the sacred urn. Well, I suppose there's that too now, isn't there? Yeah, hello. Is this the right residence? <laughs> there is no residence to this phone. It's a mobile. Pearls, where are you? I stopped at Subway and then I got lost. Oh no, you have? What are you, you shouldn't be out there walking around these city streets, man. Pearly, where are you right now? I can see 3rd Street from here. That person? Who? Oh, Bill Gates. He was looking out his window. Oh, that guy. Okay. Alright, stay right there. We're coming to get you. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, I know, dude. God, please don't let anything happen to her. Let's go, Maya. Wait a second, Nick. I don't have time to wait, dude. My daughter's in trouble. Dude. Dude. This conversation is over. Alright, we're out of here. Let's go. To... Mm, no, this isn't the right. Oh, this is the right place, isn't it? Here we go. Hey, Mr. Nick, Miss Dumaya, are you okay? I never thought I'd see the two of you again. Man, you don't need to be going out on your own like that. That's just <laughs> that's just messed up. Mr. Ace Detective out of the office. Yes, yeah, when I arrived here. There wasn't a single soul in sight. Not even a soul? I mean, I get there was no people, but there were no souls either. Jeez. Does it? Yeah, it does. There's something on the table. What the crap, man? <laughs> I didn't notice it until you mentioned it, because y'all were standing in front of it. This bag. I'm sure it wasn't here before. It looks quite full. I wonder what could be in here. Speaking of full, I'm full too. That subway was really good. Hey, wait a minute. We can't just open his private property. Don't be such a fuddy-duddy. This is an important investigation. That's true. And truth be told, I have to admit I am kind of curious. Well, what's in there? Only what you take with you. Hang on a sec. I'm taking it out now. Whatever it is, it feels kind of hard and smooth. It's the urn. What? Oh, no. He's gonna catch us rummaging through his bag, man. What are you doing, Sir Lawyer? I'm shocked to see a servant of the court ignoring the law so flagrantly. I'm really sorry. Maya made me do it. <laughs> oh, boy. A gentleman never uses a lady as an excuse for his poor behavior. Yeah, but... The real question is... Can you afford to waste time lollygagging about here? What do you mean by that? Perhaps I should make myself more clear. Tomorrow's trial, Zavari, we shall say... Shall we say the figure of Sir William will be dropping its panties before lunchtime. What the fuck? Oh, you mean... Wait a minute. 
I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. Uh, what's going to happen at the trial tomorrow that's so dramatic? Do you know what your biggest mistake so far has been, Sir Lawyer? It was becoming a lawyer in the first place. That certainly does sound like a big mistake, Mr. Nick. <laughs> tomorrow will be a day to remember. I, Luke Asmi, will take the sand. And then, Zavari, my testimony will prove to be the undoing of the lot of you. Yes, all of you, I will unmask you as the thief's co-conspirators. Oh no, tell me he didn't have the camera going in here. Although he probably would have had the right. You're quick on the defensive, I see. However, it is not I that is your greatest enemy. There is a far more dangerous threat that you will face during the trial. What are you talking about? Sir Lawyer, if you truly are who you say, I'm sure you've heard of him. His name is... There it is. There it is, guys. We've been... <laughs> I've been hearing this name... A hundred times a day for about three months now. Actually, no. Realistically, more like maybe once a week. But still. I've been hearing it. And I believe the correct pronunciation is Gatto. So we're gonna go with that. Gatto? Yeah. It's like a combination of God and idiot. You've taken a step down the path of foolishness. To try to defend a career criminal who deserves nothing less than the death penalty. Hey, last time I checked, no one knows for sure that Mr. Delight really is demasked. Hee <laughs> my dear lady. Times may change, but people sadly do not. Well, you will understand this when you are more mature. Alright, tell me about this dude. Who is this Gatto person? <laughs> It's not surprising that a spirit medium has not heard the name. Gatto, the prosecutor whose equal cannot be found in this country but in heaven. Wow. Gatto, a legend or myth. Men pin a lifetime of hopes on the chance to simply meet him. Prosecutor? But the best prosecutor in the country isn't Gatto, it's Mr. Edgeworth, yeah! Isn't that right, Nick? It's no surprise that a spirit medium such as yourself would know nothing of this. But Ace Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth is currently traveling abroad. Huh? That he is. In fact, it was Mr. Edgeworth who acknowledged Gatto as the best in this country. And you agree with that? T most certainly! In fact, you could call him the Luke Admin of the Prosecutor's Office. Well, that's good to hear. The prosecution has a fighting chance tomorrow. Mr. Nick, is this Gatto really that strong? <laughs> it doesn't matter how stronger. What matters is who's smarter. I seem to remember hearing about someone like that. Not surprising, some people spend their entire lives idly waiting for his appearance. It looks like we're done investigating for the day. Well, thank God. That was a little long, I will say, but... <laughs> not bad, though. Okay. All that remains now is to guess work is to guess what evidence to present. <laughs> or wait for the dance to begin, or whatever. What if, like, the real Demask is, like, two different characters that we've both seen? Or that we've, well, like, seen both of them now? Hmm. Nope, to be continued, there you go. I ain't stopping now. What the hell is that all about? Actually, I might take a small break, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna come back to this as soon as we, well, sorry, I said what I just did, I probably got your hopes up that there was a whole bunch more video, like, like more progress was gonna be made here or something. Anyway, save indeed. Now, I'm gonna go hit the head and drop a missile. October 13th. That's Max Saul's birthday. Okay, we'll be we'll be back with more of this probably tomorrow or whatever day this goes up. See you guys later. Boy, I can't wait to meet this Gatto freak. It's gonna be ridiculous, man. It's not like I haven't already seen him, but still, it's gonna be ridiculous, man.